what's up, Jacksonville? It's your media mogul, your old pal, Dan Hicken, ready to give you a rundown of all things Jacksonville sports coming up for the weekend. Let's start like we often do. Well, heck, we always do with our Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay, at the time of this recording, I feel like I have to say things change, you know, on the hour, but what's happening here? Oh, is Byron Leftwich taking the job? Is he not taking the job? Does Byron Leftwich tell Shad Khan he doesn't want the job because Trent Balky's a GM? And if he did, why did he do that in interview one? Why would he wait to interview two? Or when did this happen? Or is it a fight over money? What is the deal? What's going on? I've got so many questions for you, Shad Khan. Where are you? I need to talk to you, Shad Khan. I want to know what's happening. You're the caretaker of our franchise. I know you're the owner, with all due respect. But my gosh, we want to win. We got a chance. We got a quarterback. Just hire the right guy. Hire somebody. It's almost February. The Senior Bowl's next week. What happened to Doug Peterson and Jim Caldwell, by the way? What happened to those guys? Is Byron the guy? Is Byron not the guy? Who else is the guy? It's not Nathaniel Hackett. He's going to Denver. So who's left? Are you going to interview somebody else? Hey, so many questions, no answers. It's crazy. But it may all sort out. And in the end, if you were going to ask me right here, right now, who I think the next coach of the Jaguars is going to be, I would say Byron Leftwich. I would say somehow they'll work things out and Byron Leftwich will be the coach. But it's an interesting thing. You know, again, who has more leverage? Being a head coach is just one of 32. But if you can't get what you want as the head coach, If you feel like you can't get what you need, are you being set up to fail? You don't want to be set up to fail. You only get one shot, most likely. If you don't do well, you never get another shot. So you you don't want to be too choosy. You got Trevor Lawrence, but you got to have an organizational structure that in your mind works. And I'm not sure the Jags do, so uh, we'll see. Let's move on. Let's talk about some happy things like college football and Billy Napier and how much I love him and what a great job he's doing at the University of Florida. It's the offseason. Does it matter? Yes, it matters. Recruiting matters. Billy Napier went in there. It was signing day like in three days. Everybody panicked. He started redoing everything. Some guys didn't sign. He's like, they're like, oh, my goodness, what are we doing? We're going backwards. Billy Napier said, be patient. All is well. I know what I'm doing when it comes to recruiting. He's hired like 48 people. All right. And of those 48, there'll probably be 12 to 15. I don't know what the limits are. On the college football field during practice, everybody else is going to recruit everybody. Billy Napier is close to bringing in another five-star. Could you imagine if he signed two five-stars in this class? Two in the span of 20 days? Gators haven't signed five-stars in forever. So anyway, uh, their final rankings will probably be 20. You know, I think they'll get some more on signing day. It's not great. It's not where they need to be. But considering where it was, what he's been able to do the, every day, every day. And they use social media. Smart. Smart. Every day we see him at a school, taking a picture, meeting with a kid, meeting with a coach. Good stuff. Tallahassee, same thing. Mike Norvell. But he's really pounded the transfer portal. Right? And I feel like, and this is, Weird to say, but if FSU doesn't make a bowl this year, and if that's the standard, that's not where you want to be, obviously. But if FSU doesn't make a bowl this year, then the then the drum beat for Norvell will intensify, right? Uh, lots of great basketball going on in the area. High school baseball is underway, practices wise. But uh, high school basketball, how about the Jackson Tigers? James Collins done a fantastic job over there. Number one in the state, 20 and two. They were great last year. He's done a terrific job at his alma mater. So uh, they got a game against Paxson, six o'clock tip. So uh, good stuff going on on the high school front as well. That's all we got today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, check out all the matchups. Go see a high school basketball game, girls or guys. Uh, support your area high schools. And uh, it's going to be cold this weekend. Cold. Build a fire and enjoy the conference championship games. We'll talk to you next time on Jacksonville's Weekend in Sports.